Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another episode of Escape Simulator. And today we are back playing the Sudoku variants from Zeke the Mad with new one released uh, towards the end of January, but we haven't played Escape Simulator for a while. Um, this one is called Sudoku Dungeon version 1.1. And uh, we're going to jump in and take a look. And um, let's have a look at our rules. So we've got a Thermo Sudoku which uh, means the digits have to go in ascending order along the thermometer. We know that one. Now we've got the German Whispers, and this is a new variant. Um, I've actually seen it on the Cracking the Cryptics channel. Uh, I did try one around Christmas time. Um, can't remember how I got it, but basically each number has to be at least five digits apart. And I think, don't you have to go odd even, odd even? No, you don't. So no, yeah, it just has to be at least five digits apart. So um, as you can see, we've got the six there. So the only thing that can be uh, five less than a six is a one. And then it goes up to nine, which is okay. And then a two and an eight. So um, yeah, this one is a little tricky. Um, I think when I played the variant from the Crack in the Cryptid puzzle, it was actually wrapped in with something where um, each each digit along the line had to also alternate, I think, with um, it's either odd or even. So, um, but yeah, just those three. And we have uh, a hint room. Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna read the hints. I'm gonna try and um, see if we can jump in without Hopefully we can. Okay. Interesting area. I don't know what area this is meant to be along here. Anyway, we have the thermo. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. How are we going to get started here? Well, the highest numbers that these could be. So the highest number here, if that was one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, the lowest number. So this has to be six. Oh man, I'm looking at this completely wrong. This has to be um, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this one will have to be eight, seven, six, five. And you see, we're going to work our way backwards here. Um. By four. Where's my golden nugget? So four. Three. Two. One is the lowest. And then we've got six, five. So the lowest number this can be is a four. Uh, sorry, yeah, the highest number that can be is a four. By um, the rules of the thermo. Okay. So let's think about what this digit could then be. If so, if this was a one, oh, this this actually more interesting. If this was a four, <clears throat> this would have to be a nine because four add five is nine. If I'm think, yeah. So yeah, five digits. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Okay, so that's five. So if that was a three, that could be eight, nine. So the lowest number this could then be would be a six. But if it's a one, it doesn't necessarily have to be a six. It could be a seven, an eight, or a nine. Okay. So let's think about this some more. Well, here, I can rule out the five. Because on he on this line here, a five can never feature because we can never go five above or five below. So if this was a four, this would have to go the other way. So that would make that an eight or a nine. If it was a six, that would make that a one. And if it was a three, it would be One, six. Have I done that right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it can only be one of those three digits. One, eight, or nine. I think. Uh, 
bottom eight or nine. Let's have a look here. I never actually thought to look into the um, the other side here. So we have a three place there. know if that really helps me other than saying a three has got to go in one of these boxes here apparently we can solve this cell this cell this cell and these three cells here Not sure how. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to have to go. I think I'm going to have to look at the the other information here. Okay, let's have a look at the hint room and see if we can get some hints on the actual general. So, one important thing to note is that a 5 can never appear on... Yeah, so we've already said, as it would never need to be a 0 or a 10. The trick to solving general is to think of each digit on it as either low or high. And there are two digits which should only be next to one another which are the four and six. Yeah. A four, so that's, oh uh, yeah. So what, what that means is a four has to be next to a nine, a six has to be next to a one. I never, I never looked at that though, like lows and highs. So, okay, that's, that's interesting. So um, let's head here, look. So low, high, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So that then becomes a one. Okay. That becomes a one. This becomes a six. So if that's a six, that's a seven, eight, nine. So hopefully you kind of followed along with what I did there on that German whisper pattern by ruling out like lows and highs by having like the highs and lows we can say that um, uh, we, we can clearly see that there's only a select few digits allowed in each cell we know that can't be a nine So the highest number this can be is an 8. So that can't be a 4. Neither can that. Okay. Should be able to solve this somehow. Nine will only go here or here in this in this uh, column here. Nine. One. That was a seven. Is it? Oh, I'm just trying to think. Are all these okay? That digit's not valid anymore. Four, five, six, seven. So we've got a two or a three there. Can't place a one there anymore. So that's a two, three pair. So that can take away those two digits there. How can I unravel this seven or eight here? Seven, eight or nine. This was a three. 
that was a three, that would have to be an eight. So let's see if a three, eight, two, seven here. Um. I mean, obviously we're constrained to two, but I, I don't just want to guess. Let's think about this. So if this was a staff of a two. So let's say we have a two. Actually, let's say a three. Let's say a three, because we can restrict things more. So three, eight, two, seven. Well, seven or nine. If this was a two... This could be seven or eight. I don't see a way, though, to restrict down. Yeah, I, I don't see how to restrict this number. These, these, that, that isolate this box here. Let's think about like normal Sudoku for a minute. So we've got one, two, three is placed, as is six. So we've got four, five, seven, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Nines are there somewhere. Oh. Four and five could go there, but they could also go there. Hold on. Uh, six together. I was just trying to think, was there a different, was there something that I could have? Or five. Nine can't be on the, nine can't be on the line. Nine can't be on the line. The reason nine can't be on the line is because if we had a nine, we would need a four on the line, and we've shown that a four... Yeah, we've eliminated the four and the five. Can't be a five. Um, we've eliminated the four. How do we eliminate the four? Hopefully that's right. Hopefully. Right, so seven, eight. So if that was seven, if that was seven, that would be two. That would be eight. That would be three. This is four, five pair. Um, I've just got like, I've got this, this whole block is separate. It's, it's like made up of matching pairs at the minute. Let's take another look at our hint room. Yeah. I want to check the guide for more hints. Can we eliminate something from this? That three. Does that three give us anything? So we know that a three has to go here, here, or here. Actually, we know that a three has to go there. By rules of Sudoku and the fact... Uh, oh no. No, ignore that. Three can go here, here, or here. Let's have a look at this this line though again. So three can't be on here. So that leaves us with how many numbers? Seven numbers to fill five spaces. One of these two here has to be a six. Because given our low high, low high repetition, 
this is the only high number which doesn't feature in here. So given that one of these is a six, the other one has to be a one. So that is a one six pair. So we've got three, two, three, two, four, five. Which is the same blocks we've got here. And the only other thing we don't know at the minute is whether or not where our low and high numbers are sitting on this. I can't remember how I isolated this four and five to here. Oh, well, it can't be a five because of that. The four has to go next to the nine, and we ascertained that the nine wasn't part of the German whisper. So that's how we got the four five there. Okay. That's, um, that's good. Yeah, um, it's three being on the German whisper line, I slaying anything. Four pairs with six, uh, no, four pairs with nine normally I mean I'm tempted to do this the only reason is I just want to check I mean Okay, that might not be a one six at the top. Man, this this rule is this rule is something. That may not be a one six at the top for the simple reason that digits can repeat as long as other constraints allow. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not particularly happy about that. Uh, oh, hold on, there's a four there. Four doesn't do anything for the constraint, does it? I don't think so. Jeez. I guess we're not allowed to, uh, to solve this one just yet then, right? Uh, okay, um, how are we going to get going here? <clears throat> so apparently we can solve this. So it can't be a seven. The maximum, the highest digit it can be is a six. And it can't be a three. We know that. I mean, that can be anything one to four. This is going to be the highest digit that can be is a seven. We know that can't be a five because of the German whisper. A five can't appear on the German whisper. This has to be a six. Right, this is the reason this has to be a six. Because, uh, oh no, actually, damn, every time I think, <laughs> every time I feel like I've got something, um, this does have to be a 1-6 pair, though. 
I'm going to go back to that logic at least. And I am going to justify that 1 6 because one of these does have to be a high number. So this is either a 6 or this is either a 6. And the only number that could be paired with a 6 is a 1. So that means this is going to be this is going to be the 6. But if that was a 1, uh hold on, no. Other way around. That's going to be the 6. If this was a 6, the only two digits that could sit either side of this would be a 1 there and a 1 there, which doesn't work. So that has to be a 6. That has to be a 1. I think. Okay. So we have a 1 here. This has got to be 7, 8, 9. So this has got to be a low. So that's got to be a 2 or a 4. That constrains this now to a 1 or a 2. And this is going to be um, 6, 8 or 9. High, low, high, low, high. Okay. Um, what else can we deduce from this? One, two, three, four, five. We've got pencil marks for all the numbers. So nine and eight can't go there. What have we got there? We've got a four here. So four can't go there. Okay. So, so if a four can't go there, that's a two. Which means that's got to be a one. Excellent. Okay. More progress. More progress. So instantly we can fresh out our fives to one of three positions. Well, let's think about this, right? Uh, actually, we've got four odds and four evens, so... So if this was, if this was, this one here, ah, there we go, that's clever, I like that, um, let's imagine this was low, okay, that would then force all of these cells here to be high. Now, thinking out that this out loud, if this was the case, obviously we know a four can't be here because we've already got a four here. So yeah, this has to be a low. This has to be a low because of that constraint. Because of the four there, um, we've got four, whatever this is, the corners have to be the opposite. We know it can't be a four. Similarly, similarly, we also know that this here can't be a 1. Because if this was a 1, all of these corners would have to be 6, breaking the rules. But... By this rule here, it can't be a 2 or a 3. So this has to be the high. But if the four's placed here, how can that? That would have to be a one. Oh, hold on, no. Sorry, it's the opposite way around. No, I am right. That's got to be a one. That's got to be the one. So then we've got threes and twos can't go there. So that would be a three and a two there and there. Sorry, I was thinking like the only digit that we could have against a one would be a six, but no, we can have a six, seven, eight, or a nine. So then this becomes a five. Okay. 
Okay. So the lowest possible digit we can do here is a six. So this could be six or seven, seven or eight, eight or nine. So they're all highs, which means our other low, our these would be low. Um, one, two, three, four. And then we've got one of the other highs in here. Reason for that is, I hope, you, I hope you don't mind all my justifications. I, I do like to sort of like speak th and talk through my logic. The reason we have to do that is because this, the lowest number this can be is a six because of other constraints here. Therefore, we have to use three high numbers here, which also means we can't then use two on either end of this German whisper line. So we can also take out a one here because we know that's not going to sit there. Now, do we have any other constraints that we need to take into consideration? Let's look at this line here. We know that that eight can't go there. That's about all we know on that at the moment. Sixes and nines can't go here. That becomes seven, eight pair. This becomes six, nine pair. Don't know anything else about that at the moment. This has to be six, seven, eight, nine. Has to be one of those digits. We haven't ruled anything out of these, and we've got no matching pairs, so we can't really rule anything out of this section up here at the moment. Okay. Let's come back. Let's come back over here to Sick all the shield all digits can be here. Can't be a six. Six, I said. So go there or there, but it could also go there or there. So what we've got? We've got a two. I don't really think that that would help, though, would it? One. 175 would be the remaining digits in this row. All right, are we missing any digits here? Five. Five has to feature here somewhere. I'm thinking that's going to be a six, but I can't, I can't prove it out. The reason I think it's going to be a six is because we've got the eight, nine, eight, seven. Hmm. I no, can't really prove it out. It's just, just guessing. I don't, I don't want to guess. That could be a one. So ones are in this bottom here. Actually, the one has to be here. All right, that's a good start. We can take out the one from here. Can we isolate any more? I mean, pretty much everything else could go in here. So I don't think I can, I can't rule out anything from here.
Oh boy, this uh yeah, this one's this one's pretty tricky. Hold on, hold on, maybe we can work with this two. Can it be alright, so if this is a two, that can't be a six. We know a six can't go there. So that leaves a six in any one of these positions here. Oh, that's a doozy. Um... I'm missing something with this room here. There's there's a lot of there's, there's a lot of cells that we can apparently solve here. The problem is there's there's nothing really that isolates There's nothing here which says that that is that only that that can't be a 7. So seven has to feature. Okay, so seven has to feature. Which then means six can only be there or there. Six eight nine. Six eight nine. So let's think that let's just think about that. Let's imagine that was six. Seven eight nine. That was a seven. Six seven nine. That was an eight. Six seven nine. If that was a nine. Uh, see, it doesn't help us. Six seven eight. All of those digits work. Hold on, though. This has to be a low digit. So this has to be a five. Okay, this has to be a five. The reason for that is... Um, got In this row, we've got one, two, three, four. That'll make our four... Uh, sorry, not this block. This block, not the row. So we've got three high digits already here. So the fourth has to go there. Therefore, a high digit can't sit in here. So this then becomes a two, three, or a four. Are there any constraints here that we can see? Don't think we can solve that yet. Now, that restricts this cell here to a five. Okay. What are the ramifications of that? I mean, the seven is locked down now to only two positions. There or there. Seven, we've already ascertained that seven has to go in the middle, so that can't be a seven. That can't be a seven. That means that can't be a seven. So I think that becomes an eight. Oh, wait a second, that could be a seven though. Mm, no. So why couldn't that be a seven again? We said seven has to go in here. Yeah, seven has to go in this middle. Seven sits here in mid. But seven could still go in at any of those positions there. You're rolling out something at the top here. That's what's 
really hampering us. So let's think about this again. High. So high, high, high. High. This has to be low. That has to be a four. Because let's remember, right? We've got... Uh, we've already got our low digits placed here. So this would have to be one of the four high digits. So then these two also have to be high digits. And we've already ascertained from this that that is a seven or a six. Somehow. All right, so if that is a four, that becomes a two or a three. So four is one of these numbers, definitely. That's a two and a three. That's a two and a three. Oh man, we're being left with loads of little, like, matching pairs. I don't like it. Okay, so two and a three can't go there. Four, five, which we've already ascertained is there. Two, three. And we not do anything different like with the uh, two three two three hold on two three there and a two three there we've used all of our uh, okay so that 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 do then have to be high numbers Six has to go here or here. Seven's going to go here. So that will block that off. Seven can't go there. So seven has to go here or here. But which one? It's got to go there. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Seven went there. That would be a six. That would then be eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be a six. Yeah, six can't go there. It could go there. Let's think. If that was six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be a six. This can't be a six because there's only one number either side, isn't there? Okay, so six can't go there. So this has to be the six. So six is there. That becomes an eight, nine. That becomes an eight, nine. Six has to go here. Excited. Seven has to sit here. Nine. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, so. I've just been thinking about something. Uh, I don't know where I, I, I looked at that four. I'm oh, sorry, I just took a phone call. I was like looking at that four there, like staring down at the ground thinking, thinking, well, four's there, there's a four there and it's got to go in there and it can't, I thought for a minute the four had to go in the middle, but it's not. All right, anyway, let's continue on this trail of thought. That becomes a six. Our six is there. So what does that do for us? Well, we've placed the nine. So this is eight. This is nine. 
That's seven. That's eight. So we've got eight, six, seven. This has to be nine. Which means along here, we've got a seven and an eight. Hey, okay. Okay. I'm really hoping that... Um, nice touch. I'm really hoping that um, my logic holds up. I really am. All right, so that's that. That's that. Looking at what we've got there, the four has to go down in this corner here. So that leaves two, three pair again. These two, three pairs, man. Okay. We have something else over here on the German whisper line. One, two, three, four, five. So the lowest this could possibly be is a four. It's right in saying that, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if that's the highest is nine. Highest is nine, lowest is seven, uh, six, sorry. all in these pencil marks on, along this line first and then we can see if we can eliminate any of the um, options here from the cells uh, hold on that's uh, that could still be a five one two three yeah five so lowest that could be a four lowest this can be a three we know fours are not an option from any of these cells here We also know it can't be a two. We know that, that can't be an eight. That can't be an eight. So we know it can't be a seven. Isn't there a, that's a two or a three, isn't it? So that could be a two. Definitely opening up a whole range of restrictions here. So let's then look at this line here. Highest this could be is an eight because of restrictions. Eight, seven, eight, six, five, four is the lowest here. That's a one, three, four. So then here we've got two three let me work backwards seven six is the lowest here seven six five four three yeah so that's that can't be lower than a four this one can't be lower than a four can't be a six and it can't be a seven so that's got to be a four or a five so we can take a six and a seven out of this one here as well using five or a nine right i'm just checking just checking my logic eight seven can't be a seven six five Okay, so have we have we identified any numbers here which don't appear along this line? And I think the answer is an eight. No, because an eight could be there. Well, we've got one. Just think about possible candidates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so one is the only digit that appears once. Well, the one can't be there. So this has to be either be a three or a four. So that can no longer be a three. That can no longer be a four. That has to be five. Uh, which numbers are we on? Purple numbers, pink numbers. This becomes the five here. This becomes a four. 
here. This becomes a three. I hope, I hope we can f finish off this box here. And we can finish off this box here. Okay. Now we can eliminate threes from here, which makes this one a one. Or that one. This one. And we can also validate that by using... We could have validated that earlier, actually, because there's one there and one there, and the only place that this could have sit is here because it can't go at the high end of the thermo. So um, this now becomes a six or an eight. This becomes a nine. What numbers have we got? We need to place a one. Well, a one's going to go here. One. Can't be three. Can't be five. This is going to be a six. Can't be that. That's going to be an eight. I hope. Uh, okay. We can still do stuff here. One, two, three, four, five. Six has to go there. So we can, should be able to finish this. Six. Eight, seven. Okay. Somehow, my logic is still prevailing. Not sure how, but it is. Okay. Let's have another look. We've, we, can ident we can eliminate some candidates from here. A three and a five. Can't be three. Actually, three can't be, can't be three, five, or a six. So this becomes a two. That can't be a six. So it's a five or a seven. So this becomes five, seven, three. Five, seven, three. Or three, five, seven, however you want to say it. Which means that is a nine. So this has to be low, high, low. This is our one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can I get rid of this? What if I get rid of like this? Ah, oh, it's got a shelf here. Okay. Oh well. Also, I just saw that on the door. That's that's pretty neat. It tells me what blocks are complete. That's a neat little feature we've not seen before. Uh, all right, here, seven, eight, nine. Uh, sorry, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine. We can already eliminate a one and a four from here. So we've got another two, three pair. These two, three pairs, I swear down, this whole puzzle has been based on the two, three pairs. So here we're going to have two, three, and a four. Two, three, four. Can we eliminate any of those digits from these cells? Well, we can eliminate a two from there. Okay, what else have we got? Any low numbers? No. Two, three, four, five. Ah, we can probably place this out now. Let's let's flesh this out. That's a four, five. Surely we can do this two, three. Yes, we can. Three's in here. Who's there? I'm not liking that, though. We didn't get... We didn't get a completed on that, on this middle box. That's a yikes. That's a big yikes. All right. What have we got left here? A three. Three, four, five. 
be a three or a five. I'm sure there's going to be five in one of these columns. There is right there, so the five goes there. And the other number is a four. Four is there. Four, three. Where's the mistake here? I'm worried. Very worried about this cell here. We got some mistakes. This cell and this cell are both wrong. The problem is, I don't know if it will be easy to identify what actually is wrong. Two, two, eight. Three. So one, one, five, seven. One, five, seven. Well, that would have to be a one. That becomes five, seven pair. Four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Six, eight, nine. That can't be a seven. Uh yeah, okay, that's there's my issue. If that's six, eight, nine, I've got two possible I've got two candidate pos positions here. So there has to be a nine. The seven and the nine, they're all. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. All right. Well, I'm going to make a note of this um, this layout here. And um, what I'll do is I'll place down the required cells as they pop up. Um, because obviously the required cells are in the right positions. And then we'll uh, come back. With maybe with this whole map, this whole bit unlocked, and we'll um, see if we can't um, work it out. But yeah, that's unfortunate. So uh, stick with me, guys. I will be back real soon, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to um, piece together the final bits of the jigsaw and uh, get to the exit. So uh, stick around. Okay, so I haven't actually done anything like scrap the puzzle. What I did notice, I was just going through things. That's not a five seven. That's a five. Uh, it's not a five nine. It's a five seven pair. What I've done is I've I've written down like the whole puzzle on a bit of paper just to sort of like visually see something, or see if I can visually see something. And now that no longer breaks the puzzle. I know the lights still aren't right there, but so hold on. That's five. That'd be a seven. That'd be a seven, that'd be a three, five. So seven can't go here. Can it? Seven goes there. Three, five. I don't know, seven can go there. Okay. So we've got eight, six, two, three. So what do we got here? Let's let's fill in some blanks. Let's see if we can still salvage this. Five, five, eight, nine. Does that break anything? Not at the minute. Here we have a one, one, three, seven. Seven. Which means we have two, two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Knock! Okay, can we rule anything out? Can't be one. Can't be six. Oh, that can't be six either, so that's got to be an eight. That's the eight. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. 
If that can't be a six, that can't be an eight. Six, eight, nine is our only digits left there. And... Yes. Just double checking. Yeah, okay, there's a mistake then. So I'm guessing... Is it the seven and the eight? If that was the eight, that can't be the eight. It still can't be the six. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stick to my original plan, guys, and I'm gonna go back and um, undo the puzzle. I'm also going to see if I can try and see what the ambiguity was here. Um, obviously, I did have an issue where I didn't know whether, I think it was it between the 7, the 8, and the 2, and the 3, like what the order was between them. So, yeah, I'm going to go and um, reset the puzzle, take a look at them, and see what we can come up with. So, uh, bear me, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so at this point, I'm really starting to get quite angry with myself. There is something in this puzzle I am clearly missing because I have now restarted this puzzle three times and every time my middle blocks are wrong and I just can't understand why. Having given it some thought, I realized the beginning of the puzzle starts in a middle box. So is that an indication that the reason I'm failing is because I'm making a mistake in the very first box? I began to flesh out the puzzle by adding in the pencil numbers like I always do. This led me to placing a six here because that's the only tile that can go there that isn't directly connected to this one here. After placing the six, we have to place a one here. We can also eliminate sixes from here one from here, six from here, and one from here. Knowing that this is a six and we have to go up the thermo, this becomes a seven, this becomes an eight, this becomes a nine. One of these two cells has to be a six, which means the other one has to be a one. And knowing that we have a one there, we can identify that this is the six and this is the one. Having a nine place in the top block means we can eliminate the nine here. And given that we no longer have a nine here, this now becomes a two, four pair. Because for a four to be in one of those boxes, we need to have a nine in the other box. Knowing that we have a two, three pair at the bottom, we can eliminate the three from here, which leaves us with a four, five on the thermo. Using logic that I'd identified in a couple of different run-throughs of this, this can't be a seven. The reason this can't be a seven is because it would need a two to be on either side to fit the German whispers constraint. Therefore, we can place this as an eight. Now, this I think is where I've been making the mistake. At this point, I've had the majority of this box already fleshed out. But this time around, I'm actually gonna move on. And I'm not going to fill any more of this in unless I have to. And we're going to start tackling the puzzle in the subsequent boxes. So I'm going to flesh out as much as I can without trying to touch this box here. And then we'll come back and we'll see just exactly where we get up to. Progress update time. We've um, filled in tiles on five of the nine blocks. And we've just undone blocks uh, eight and nine. I'll say I'm not... I'm only putting in the numbers at the minute that I need to put in. Just trying to keep it very, very simple going forward. So, um, yeah, I'm going to carry on with this approach. And uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer before we are uh, open that other area. And then we can actually crack on with the main solve again. Okay. We have opened up the entire puzzle. 
We have only filled in two blocks, and they are both correct to this point. Okay. So, let's try and finish this puzzle once and for all, shall we? Three and five. Go here and here. So I haven't even looked at like this. I've just literally been concentrating on opening the entire puzzle up. So I'm going to take a quick look now to see if we can eliminate any cells from here. Instantly, I can see we can get rid of a five in there. So that's a four or a three. Two, four, three. We know that three. So that's got to be two, four. I've not even been putting pencil numbers where I don't need them. Okay. I need two numbers left here. One, two, three, and five. Three and five. Can't place them at the minute, I don't think. No. Nope. Okay. Three, five. I'm going to take a, a real basic approach to this. I'm going to... It's not how I normally like to play Sudoku, but I'm actually just going to identify candidates for each cell as I go along. I think that's going to help in this case. All right, I'm going to just leave this for a minute. I'm going to focus on this cell here. This has to be a low number. Which then means this has got to be one of these three numbers. This has got to be a low number as well. We can eliminate a one and a four from there. We eliminate the one and four, we can eliminate the six from there. We haven't got a nine in here, so we can eliminate the four there. Everything else is valid, I believe. Turn on pencil numbers in there as well. Okay. Let's have another rummage around here. So we've got a five there. I can take out penciled fives here. So that, seven, eight, any other restraints? Don't think so. That's gotta be seven, eight, or that's gotta be a six, eight. So in here, it's got to be a four. And either six can only go there. Eight can't go there. Okay. Wrong one. That's the only candidates available for those cells here. Okay, what do we got here? Seven and a six. Six, seven, nine. You know, there's definitely a four. Already eliminated the cells that they can't be. Let's have a look here then. So, starting numbers for this could be two, four, five, seven. Four, five would be valid. Seven, eight. And here we could have nine, eight, seven. No, we can't have eight or seven. Can't have six. Five would be valid though. Okay. So five, five has got to go in the top somewhere, which means a five has to go there or there. Yes. Okay. 
That's a five, that's a four and a two. Can we can we get rid of anything else? I don't think we can. Not at the minute. That was a nine. That could be any of the others. Okay. Ones. Can we place a one? Well, we know our one's got to go in one of these cells here. And it can't go in that one. So one is in there. One of those two cells there. Can't do anything with twos. We know three is at the bottom. Yeah, the threes. Three is there. So threes can't go here or here. Three has to go here. Okay. We found a three. So what have we got left? Two, four, five. Two can't go there. Five can't go there. Four there, so that's got to be the five. That's got to be the four. Please give me a green light on my door. Yes. Okay, so now we can take out twos from here. Which means that can't be a four. Nine has to go in this top corner. Nine has to go in this top one. So this has to be a nine. Nine is placed. Which then means nine's going to have to go... Can't go there. Nine's going to have to be there or there. This now places as a five. Two, three pair is here. Three can't go there. This becomes a four. Can we do better than that? We can. We can place a three in this corner. We can place a two in this corner. Sevens and nines. Have we got a seven that we can rule that out with? Seven. Not yet. This is seven, nine. Okay. Okay. Things are starting to happen. Can we do anything else with this now? I don't think so. No. What about in this cell here? We take our three from there, so that allows us to place our two and our three. I think that's about it though. Twos and threes. Twos and threes, twos and threes. Two and three has to go in these top ones here. Can we do better than that? Can we eliminate any other candidates? We can. That can't be a two. So two is at the top there. Don't know about the three and the five yet though. We don't have enough information about them yet. No five's got to go at the top. We don't have any information about fours, though. Or enough information about four. Actually, we know a four can't go here. And we know we've got to use a five, so that's got to be a five. So that leaves with a seven, eight here. Can we take out any fives from over here? No, we can't. Four, seven, eight. Well, that's a seven, eight. That's a seven, eight. This has got to be a four. Does that four help us? No, because we have place fours everywhere else. Can say now is a four has got to sit here or here. At least a one. One. Two. Two's got to go in here. Two can only go there or there. Three. Four, five. Sixes and eights. We don't know enough. So that's going to be six or an eight. Six or an eight. 
Okay. I appreciate you guys for sticking with this one. I really do. Can that be a seven? Yes, because we have a one there. So that could be a one there and a two there. So we can't rule out the seven just yet. Ah, oh, hold on. Seven, eight pair. Again, seven, eight pair. So we can take a six. Take the six. We know we need a seven, eight pair. Or a seven, eight pair there. So it's just kind of the six there. That becomes a seven, nine. Is that the only place we can place a nine? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Seven, nine. Don't have another seven, eight pair to do anything with that. All right, let's, let's go up and down here. This, I know there's like not much you can do, but this this wall really here does hamper the vision of the puzzle. So ones can go bottom row. There or there. Can't go... Maybe we should concentrate on that. Six. Six. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine. Six and nine. That could be any of them. Seven, eight there. Have I got a seven, eight pair in the middle somewhere? No. Okay. Look at this box. There's only one place we can place a six, isn't there? No. Ah, got excited. Got excited. Take my excitement back. Oh, hold on, we've got a five. We've got a five. Five, five, five. Yes. Show me the green light. Yes. Okay. That means this has to be a two. What else does it mean? That can't be a two. That can't be a two. Uh, I know we can still... That could be a one and the seven could still work there. Two, two, two. Does mean though the two's got to go here. Comes an eight, six. That can't be an eight. Eight, six. Eight, six. This is a four. That's a four. That can't with that. Okay, this can't be a four. So the four has to go here. We got left there. Three. Okay, that's the only place a three can go. And then the one has got to go on here then. Okay. Five's no more restricted than that. 
guess not. What's left in here? Seven, eight. That can't be a one. One can't go there. One's got to go over here. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. Nine, six. It's going to be a... Uh, hold on. One, two, three. 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 Seven, eight, and six. Six can't go there. That's all we know. That can't be a nine. Nine, seven, eight, six is here. One more digit's place in here, which is a five. Five. Five's there and the five's there. Five's there. Okay, well, we'll post five. I got excited about nothing. Um, it's carrying on. Get rid of that six. One, two, three, four, five. Nines has to go here. We're going to that top corner. Seven, eight. Still that seven, eight. Is having that six help us anywhere? Still nothing. There's an eight. Nope, we don't have anything there for the eight. Still nothing. Jeez. Six and eight, six and eight. Can a six go in the center? Yes, it can. So we can't roll a six in there. I mean, this could be anything. Six, seven, or eight. Uh, six and seven. That's a six, seven. That's a six, seven. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Six, eight. Nine can't go there. I don't have any other nines. Ah, oh, come on. We're close. We're close. We're close. What detail am I overlooking here? Why couldn't this be a seven? Why wouldn't this be a seven? I haven't marked it as a seven, but why is there a reason for that? Let's think about this. If that was an eight, that'd be a six, that'd be a seven. If that was a seven, six, eight. Um. Six has got to go in the middle. Which it already has done, so that doesn't help. Eight's got to go at the top there. It's got to go in the middle there, which I already know.
That was a nine. That would be a seven. That would be an eight. Nine, eight, seven. Nine, eight, seven. Six, eight. Oh man, I, I don't know how to disambiguate this. I gotta be missing something relatively simple here. This can't be a six. Oh, you idiot. Can't be a six because of the two. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Yes, we have a line in the middle. Things are happening. Yes. Seven, eight, nine. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, so let, let, let me just hold on a minute. I need to check these middle blocks because well, this one, block five and block four, I wrote down after my first restart, just to kind of keep my positioning so I can compare. What have I got? One, six, five, four, eight, three, two, seven, and the nine. For some reason I had ruled out the nine from this spot. So the seven and the nine were the opposite way around, which then means in this block, again, the seven and the nine were the wrong way around. then means what though because then i had yeah okay so then here on my original plan in the middle i had the, my candidate numbers i'll show you i'll show you here my candidate numbers which are like there uh the black one sorry were five seven one at the bottom and six eight nine in the middle but obviously the solution was five, nine and six, seven, eight. Holy, yeah, okay. So, um, that's totally on me. That's totally on me. Um, wow, okay, just wow. I mean, that was really, really tough. That was really, really tough. Um, but in hindsight, I now know quite a lot about um, German whispers. And I'm sure the next time, if there is a next time I come across a German whispers puzzle, um, I'll be a lot more prepared for it. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just that it was that one constraint on the German whisper the um the six wasn't it having that six here this could not be a six and that ultimately was what um solved the puzzle for me but thanks for sticking with me guys like i said 
I was getting really frustrated with myself. I've this is like attempt number four, and I kept after the first three attempts, I was ending up with the same ending, which is why I slowed it down and took it real slow. So thank you very much for sticking with it, guys. I know it's been an extremely long video, and I do appreciate you guys hanging on with this one. But until the next one, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming.